What's up guys? This is the Brave Man and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Turn of War. Let's play as the Kingdom of Mysore and in this episode the British Empire is in their death throes. We have an opportunity here to do a lot of damage to a couple of armies in the field as well as potentially one of their garrison units. Um, but the enemy does not march against us in great numbers. For whatever reason they have dispersed to the highlands. So let us destroy their armies in the field then effectively uh, march on towards Edinburgh. I fear. So they, they currently have an army stuck in the middle of Edinburgh. That's that's a full army, but when, in Empire, when that happens, generally that means that army, the army doesn't enter the field until they lose the city. So if I took Edinburgh and they had somewhere else, that army would would then pop out of the city next to the city. But because it is the last city, when they when I attack and the garrison is destroyed, that extra army that's currently standing in the middle of Edinburgh will just cease to exist because the enemy will not have anywhere there will be nowhere for them to no one for them to fight uh, okay let's ooh. I think I want to do all the right I mean this hill's cleaner I mean I think I might just set up a grand battery set my line up and then redeploy it one when it becomes clear what the enemy's doing or what the enemy could do because right now right now it's actually a bit we've got multiple reinforcing units coming in so it makes more sense i think to let them let them come in see where their reinforcements enter the field and then deploy accordingly So I missed a gun. Okay, open fire. Okay, one unit on the right, unit on the left. Let's send. Okay, so this is their actual unit, the actual army coming in because they've got two generals. And I'm pretty sure I'm correct when I say that they're. Their actual army is the one, yeah, lifeguards are here, bring the cavalry over. Looks like they're charging in. Sars General, Scottish Line. I want to see, yeah, this is the one. Swiss line, Swiss line, we've killed their general. Pull the cavalry back. We're engaging the enemy general units with musketry. Mid against the lifeguards. Gang up on one lifeguard unit, but that's dodgy. Dervishes and Hindu warriors commit against the other lifeguards. Kijabashi cavalry push in. Heavy cavalry, we need to mob them. Go. I mean, they are pushing into my cavalry, but that's fine. Pushing into my artillery, rather. Let's artillery engage the whole strand of guards with shrapnel shots. Withdraw. Both these units get out of square. Form line for battle. Native lancers push around. Kizobashi cavalry and Indian cavalry guards will push in against the Scottish line. Guns 
Gunners, man your guns. Actually, it's just mob their, inf mob their infantry block. No, you men get out of the way. Okay, let's actually take these two units and create a bit more of a defensive wedge. They have surrounded the Scottish infantry unit. Yeah, we've shattered them, charge on into the horse grenade guards who've dismounted. There are Swiss pikes hiding back there, so be wary of those. Pull back to the gun line. Blast the enemy formations. Engage the light horse. Artillery routing, we don't care if they escape. Need to stretch out just a little bit further. Kill the last of the Hussars. Turn one native native lancer unit against the cavalry. Against the enemy howitzers, rather. Get the pikemen to run away. Okay, no, everyone run away. Focus your fire on the enemy infantry here. And it's the shot. Blast them. No, don't charge back against the pikes. Run away. The dervishes can hold out. Okay, let's get this use of Pahi back over on the left. Even are free to try and engage the enemy reinforcements on the left. You've shot down this enemy general's bodyguard. The general is dead, but we don't have a count. We don't have a, a reward for that yet. Here comes the general bodyguard. Pull back. Push the cavalry past. Push the dervishes in against the pikes. Sapahi in against the general's bodyguard. Actually against the Lancer guards. They think they're catching us off. Or catching us out, but they aren't. We will then engage the body of cavalrymen with musketry. New men smash the Swiss line. The dervishes are going to help break the square. square ourselves because they're so small and they're low on numbers. Cavalry go after the artillery. Artillery fire all engage the 72nd. Engulf the 68th regiment. Hack him apart. Take him down. We've chased them off. Oh, the artillery unit either routed or is hidden. There we go. Killed their enemy infantry. There we go. Their last unit has exposed itself. 
in his one lone artillery unit, sat at the back of the map going, I wonder if... I wonder if we can do anything. I wonder if... I wonder if... The answer is no. The only thing you can do is die. Crush, kill, destroy. Hey, enemy general's bodyguards here as well. Any generals to kill? Yes, there is one. We got him. Armoured Lance Cavalry, man. Don't you just love it? Could try chase them down, but why bother? Excellent. Excellent. That's a good victory. We've done... I mean, that's just blowing them to pieces. Yep, Giffard Davies is dead. His men scatter into the hills. And that is the last that Britain will be able to do to actually withstand us, unless... Nope. You want pff, become a protector for 170 grand? No. Die! <laughs> that chief's bodyguard. Quebec is taking their sweet time. But ultimately, we are very much into the end game now. There are not many areas left to capture. There's Edinburgh, Quebec, Montreal, Iroquois Territory, and the Plains Nations Peoples. Virginia is upset, but no, they are not. They're actually fine. I mean, we took Philadelphia. You men can't yet reach. Cayuga, but you will do that and put them under siege because we can bring the, the New York garrison over to help. Ah, I mean, I don't, I don't know how much I'm going to spend, how much time I'm going to spend building things now. Uh, you are able just to run over to Montreal and secure it because we're not going to fight that action. Oh, yes, Quebec is ripe for the taking. But I want to see if I can defeat and destroy Britain first. And fundamentally, just start running people towards what's left. You can stay here as a bit of a hedge against this army getting involved. You guys aren't needed against Montreal anymore, so you can just run towards the last territory of the Iroquois Confederacy. No, don't bother building. There's no point. We're right at the end now. You're almost under siege. Okay, so Britain. I mean, we don't even need to do fight. Almost. No, that's it. This is going to be it for Britain. Yep. Don't have, they don't get much of a garrison either. Because this army does not get brought to bear until they lose the city. Surround, surround the city. This army is going to do the attacking because it's the interesting one. Let's go get them. Very much going to be unneeded here, and we're probably going to do a just a constant, a constant siege assault. Just keep sending people in. Don't sit there and worry about making. Well, I might make one breach, but effectively poor people in. They cannot stop us. They will not stop us. There's just too many of us. Not enough of them. We will take Edinburgh. Britain will be destroyed. Then it's on to Quebec. And then it's only the Iroquois and the Plains Nations peoples left that can actually stand against us. Dear, dear, dear. 70 episodes. It's a good campaign. I think it's a year and a half, roughly. Oof. Yay. Blow a hole in the wall, and then you guys are going to run away. Howitzers just fire round shot. No sneaky sneaks. Ooh. 
This teaches me to always look at the map. Look at this. If I deploy you guys back here, you might be able to fire into the fort. Don't care where the British reinforcements come in from. Does not matter. Blast away in. A mortar in classic mortar style is apparently useless. No, it can. It's within range. It just doesn't want to shoot at things. It wants to walk towards them. There we go. Fire! The mortars work for us now. They could actually get involved in a bit of counter battery. They've lost one of their mortars though. But all this artillery back here will ensure we get in. I might just speed up time. Ooh, you were wavering for a second, weren't you? Someone was. Or is it just sad? It was just probably just snow. Fire! The great gun is doing work, and the howitzers, are, the mortars are actually sucking up a lot of enemy fire. Yeah, let's make a breach and just push in. 97%, that's good enough for me. Islamic swordsmen. Okay, we still need to push up fast because they've got lots of more. They've got a few units of mortars that could cause problems. Dervishes scale the wall here. Musketeers push up. I very much intend on this one being a bloody battle. Yeah, these men have made their breach. They can now run away. Same with you, Mord Cruz. Just go away. Citizenry. Militia. Citizenry. Garrison mortars. Let's get my cavalry over here. Fast. Knock out some line and a unit of howitzers. And you men turn tail and run. Give everyone orders just to scale the wall. Ooh, a bit of a stutter there. So you guys cease fire. Everybody just scale the wall. Don't give a darn about what anyone's doing. Charge! Just run the cavalry around this engagement. Although, just charge the Hindu musketeers in. And yeah, there comes the quick line. My, my cavalry, my cavalry, my uh, artillery is routing successfully. You men will form in the centre. Let's bring my general up here as well. Scaling the walls. See if you men can get in after that unit quickly enough. Oh, three generals. No, I should have organised.
comes the chug. Okay, cavalry. Hold steady. We will secure the gate. These Hindu musketeers are going to fight against the garrison militia. So my swordsmen are tying up a lot of men in the breach. Go on, go. Actually, no, don't get the Gurkhas to do it. Get the Hindu musketeers to do it. Secure the breach. You may attack the garrison line. Charge! Oh, it's going to chug. Chugmeister. Scale the wall. We all my Hindu musketeers over here to secure this gate and then our cavalry can get in. I mean, it's got to be hugely to do with this. Usually, it's the breach. But if I try to run people out of the breach, will they come and follow me? That's the question. So you come over here. This unit that's on the right, get over here. Because you guys are taking your time getting over to the gate. You guys, okay, your Gurkhas are going to have to take it. Otherwise, we could try and push in. But yeah, if you guys just run away. Just spam right click. Nah, they don't want to disengage quickly enough. But yeah, this is classic. Classic, um, classic Empire Total War. When you got a siege battle and everyone's fighting, it's just so badly optimized. There you go. You are scaling the wall now. See, look. You're actually you have orders to get over here, but you're actually just not actively not doing it. See, look, I, dis I disengage from the breach and immediately the game goes, huh, actually, you know what? In which case, you men, fire at will. Shoot into the breach. You men, run away. had it for a minute we had a brief bit of respite there there we go I'm sure it's the breach that usually that screws it up Get everyone in. They're immediately redeploying. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Charge, charge, charge. See, 
See, the fight on the walls isn't the problem. It is just the breach. And it started raining. Ideal. Engage the field artillery. The Royal Indian Cavalry Guard secure the center. Let's get some more Sepahi in. Kill the mortars. Couple of gunners running around in the center, causing a nuisance. Engage. Only one infantryman left here. Everybody focus on the firelock arm citizenry. Kill that last garrison garrison trooper. Cavalry over. I mean, you men are squaring off against my Sapahi, but that's not stopping them from getting involved. Get my Islamic swordsman back in. There we go, increase the pressure. All charged up the walls to try and stop us. Yeah, you men are just not gonna. You're gonna run around the wall. I see. Very sneaky. There you, go. you men engage the armed citizenry. Down to 42 men. Keep killing. Keep at them. Soon be over, soon to be dead. There we go, here come the Islamic swordsmen in against the Swiss line infantry. Thank you, men, mount the fire step. You were going to fire into the 71st Regiment. But we have secured the city of Edinburgh. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So that is the end of the British Empire once and for all. And none of these armies are going to end up leaving the British Isles because they are surplus to requirements. There we go. Let's get all these buildings repaired. Get the army replenished. But yep, there goes Britain. And then we are on to the Americas. You guys are combined. To be honest, you're probably ready to gauge Yankton yourselves. Okay. This force is going to gauge Quebec a bit more intelligently. But we are going to uh, attack them nonetheless. And yeah, we may, may be the last episode of the Mysorean campaign. Because after this, you've only got the Oka Confederacy and the Plains Nations peoples. And once we deal with them, that's going to be it. So I think we might actually play this one out until its natural conclusion and end the campaign. If my calculations are correct. Right, 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 right. So once again, we're going to focus our firepower on one breach. Gurkhas and Islamic Swordsmen plus three units to hold the breach. Actually, we could put guns up here and there. 
Large contingent are going to push one of the flanks. And they're going to have all of the cavalry out here. Excellent. Smash that wall. They've elected to shoot at the centre and waste a volley. Okay, let's see if they listen to me this time. Yeah, they have reloaded. They have retargeted. Fire as she bears. I want to defend the breach and then send some units to assault, lure them out, and then bring these guys to into bear probably at the same time. They have no mortars, so it's not a question of making sure they all come in at once at the same time. 96%, 100%. So because the plan is to hold a breach, or hold the breach, we are actually going to keep these units in play. Keep these units slamming shots into the center. You may attack this rear corner. My plan is to assault here. I might keep some cavalry here to help protect my assault units. Because as soon as we become, we get into position, they will start to attack us. That's for darn sure. Unless they deploy off on the walls, which would be super handy. Engage the breach. Blast them. It's the easiest path for them to come out and try and stop us. Look at this little drummer boy. Hey, little fella. How you doing? Nice drum you got. Ooh. He's all right, folks. Secure the wall. Here they come. I hear cavalry. Well, their artillery is just doing a real number on them. Allegedly, they're broken, but it remains to be seen. Seventh Regiment are coming out. They also want to try and charge units trying to scale the wall. Wavering. Broken. A lot of artillery. These guys are charging in. I've got my Sikh warriors on this side first. They are the ones that are ready to try and push in. And they're going to be sandwiched between Gurkhas and Islamic swordsmen. Although some of them are going to try and run through the breach because that's what they do. Everybody just secure the wall. Oh no no, don't rout one of me. Although they are routing most surely because they are trying to run through the breach and they are under a lot of artillery fire. You guys, a ceasefire. Because right now, you guys want to kill the troops on the wall. Yeah, they're upset. 
this unit may break because they've got a small contingent going through the breach. Yeah. A lot of artillery, a lot of musket fire. That's what happens when you run through the breach, lads. Okay, make sure we take the gates so they don't charge us. You have your order. You are allegedly running. Now you're just useless. Bugged. Brilliant. <laughs> there goes the 8th Regiment, shattered. Artillery did a real number on the enemy here, trying to swarm and protect the breach. Finally. Although we took the wall kind of by accident. It was through the use of the through the Islamic swordsmen running up themselves. Okay, jump on the light cavalry because they've pushed through. Okay, I was trying to see if we can make if them routing made any difference. Trying to scale the wall. you man over here keep attacking the colonial light well to keep attacking the infantry you are potentially going to get screwed up although inside the inside the uh, you're actually going to do okay there. You guys are just bugged, so run away. I'm not going to have you waste my time. Although they now have potentially unjammed themselves. Nope, they're bugged. Run away. Please leave. Pushing more men in to defend this section of the breach, of the wall rather, not the breach. The breach itself is looking mighty dangerous. They're all going to keep hacking through at their cavalry. You men are coming together just fine. First regiment of battle. I mean, we're making mighty inroads here. Okay, let's get you men across the wall to help on the other flank. Run my seat warriors across as well. We're going to storm across, secure the gate, hit the 6th Regiment, try to push forward and support these units here, trying to take the wall. Candles. Oh, no, no, don't shoot them. Starting to engage us with artillery or with um how it's shot. Keep holding. Maybe we're going to hit we are gonna break through. Let's try to get some one unit of cavalry in. Ah, they broke my Gurkhas. Cowards, they broke and ran. We were on our way to save you. Okay, 
Kansas Union of Light Cavalry. Yeah, they're going to get shot off their horses, though. They appear confident. Get these seat musketeers over. New men stop firing. I mean, you guys now can... I don't know. Oh yeah, you can. Push two units in. You try block. Yeah, let's run a general in. Just run him straight through the breach. We're hacking our way through these light cavalry. Only four of them left. Skirmishes get in. And my Zamandari horsemen just charge through and attack their artillery. Islamic swordsmen are holding. But we've made it through to the sixth. Push a unit through. Attack the third. We will make it. Excellent. The camels are free as well. Get them in. Actually, maybe go for the native bone and auxiliary. Bows can be surprisingly effective at upsetting people. You appear to have... I don't know, my swordsmen are still alive, they're just... Well, very well, all you've done is just free up the way for my cavalry to come in. There we go. We connected, we, lo we linked up. You men attack the regiment here. Well, that's artillery coming in. Let's stop you. Get in here. Skirmishes against the general's bodyguard. Get the Sikh warriors in here as well. Gauge the tenth. Engage. Oh, these poor souls are trying to go and try and route through this gateway that we control. The fools. Camels are broken. Uh, somewhat unsurprisingly. Kill, kill, kill. It's the last colonial infantry money. I'm not fighting them. I'm going back to the middle. Kill that one guy, this one trooper who went, who wants some then, eh? Oh. Not very trooperish. Kill the general's bodyguard. If we kill them, protect yourselves. Kill the 7th regiment with blistering artillery fire. You're going to regret you never came out here. <laughs> hey, oh, hello.
Give him the squeeze. The squeeze. Good, good, good. Yeah. There we go. They were never going to last. Or it will on blast them with your carbines if you can. Ooh, lucky sods. Well, there we go. Quebec is gone. That is another territory taken into the fold. Bye bye, Quebec ships. You could not save you. I mean, you could potentially have done some good if you blockaded, you know, the crossings over the river, but you chose not to. So there we go. You men hold. You guys are one turn off. Huron still have one. Oh yeah, the Huron still have one. Yeah, true. Yeah, lots of these armies are not going to do anything anymore. They are not needed. No, 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 we can we can mass. Don't worry. We've got time, Huron. We've got time. But yes, I probably will. Yeah, I, I will finish the episode now. Because ultimately it'll probably be an hour and a half, maybe. Thereabouts. Declare war. Don't go too far. Because they like to ambush. They're going to be here somewhere. They usually always are. Not going to do any of this fancy stuff. Fancy stuff. Push it up. Will you just let us... Ah, oh, why don't you just run around like that? Push in and confront. Actually, no. Before we do that... Let's jump on the Iroquois territory. Jump on Cayuga. Then we can potentially knock out the balance of power of the Huron territory. Then we can take out the Black Pla the Black Hills peoples. Plains Nations peoples in the Black Hills. And then, then that'll be that. Then I'll have to uh, record another faction vote video. Pretty Ricky Tick, too. Up guards an atom. Okay, artillery going to deploy behind the lines. Advance slowly and with caution, but bear in mind we do have. I mean, my mercenaries are going to serve as melee infantry for now. They charge us almost anywhere along the line. They are in trouble. Let's have a general order. Oh, there we go. may well be some kind of bluff. You wanted us to see some of your troops. Still, I don't care. We're going to have you. Good at engaging Chief's bodyguard at extreme range. Accurate this deal. Where are their cavalry? Not cavalry, they're 
bowmen and so on. Select you very quickly. Get my cavalry ready to commit. Smash the Warrior Society. It's going to be a good old fashioned showdown. Paddy charge into the rear. Tillery sees fire. Commit the infantry in. You guys stand firm, waiting for the next attack. You guys go for the rear of the medicine men. Shoot him up. Go for the medicine man. Yeah, that's them. I mean, to be honest, it looks like it's going to be a don't care who you are, you're getting involved in fisticuffs. Where are the bows? Tell me where they are! Let's charge my two cavalry units in on the assumption there's probably going to be a few more bows around here somewhere. Okay, let's do the same thing again. Bowman, Bowman. I think I can hear them. They're gonna nail a few horses, but not enough. Hello, who's this? So many units, just aren't going to get involved. Phone alarm's going off. Smash the last garrison native unit. There's a bunch of melee somewhere. wavering. Broken, broken, broken. Delicious. One last unit. <laughs> I mean, granted, this is some of the best cavalry I can possibly get at a very good experience level. Man, that was pretty sweet. Nice, nice, nice. Chomp. Demolish. Repair, get rid of the meeting hall. Demolish the farmland. We just don't bother to build stuff. We're in the end game now. Let's see if I can get you. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. No, you're gonna have to push in and engage Kanagatuko. 
you can bring in your comrades to support you, it will not save you. We have plenty of men on our side. We're going to smash them back. The next turn, one of our other armies that's in good condition is going to jump on them and annihilate them. And then both our armies in the west should hopefully be able to go after the Plains Nation's peoples. So let's get cracking. I want to keep this be a, a bit more sensible here. Not go on quite such a massive mad dash forward as I did before. But we still want to push. That's the fun. Group two, 90 units together. Elephants and friends on the left. You know, I might not want to move. They're going to push towards me. Which looks like they are going to do. Including, actually they're running. Yeah, I don't think I want to move forward. I think I want to just watch what happens. coming in. Yeah. Native American Lancers. They've sucked up a few shots for the safety of the defilade. I mean, in some ways this is smart, just drawing a lot of musket fire from my men. But my men can reload pretty fast. And by the time these guys are reloaded, these guys are going to be reloaded very soon. So... So they routed, which means everyone's going to start reloading. We might not necessarily reload quick enough, but we got... Just blocks of troops behind already. to charge the Warre Society. Shattered, don't worry about them. Warre Society wavering, routing, broken, broken, broken. These guys definitely want to run in and nail the bowmen. to deploy some bows forward some, some uh, cavalry forward just to start making sure these guys route okay, here's another bow unit let's push towards them shattered advance forward have exposed themselves. Okay, recall the cavalry because they are starting to just run away. Target you guys into this bow unit because this unit doesn't want appear to want to actually engage them. They're wavering. Go 
broken, shattered. Push on into the Mount Tribal Gunners. Shattered. Excellent. Tribal Gunners are wavering. See, now they're pushing in. You men reload. Your experience. Volley. Volley. Point blank as well. Okay, get the cavalry out of there. They're starting to be engulfed by warriors. You men reload. You're about to engage the bowmen. Chief's bodyguard, native lancers. We call the cavalry. Get the artillery just to sit engaging the chief's bodyguard that's running around the back. Initially, these mercenaries hold fire till my cavalry is safely back in the line. Medicine men. Oh, there they are. Mop up, like that unit shattered. Shatter this unit. You're being pursued by enemy cavalry, but see if you can do that first. Kill the shatter the bowman, good, engage the chief's bodyguard. You're gonna get mobbed by infantry if you're not careful. Kill the enemy general. Get out of the way. Just keep running through the Native American warriors. Excellent Indian musketeers still did an excellent job. Try to recover some stamina. Hey, the, the unit of warriors made it to our line, but now they're going to get countercharged by my Islamic swordsman, but no. The line is held. They're just outside of my musket line. No, keep running away. More warriors coming in. But will they make it to the line? There you go, my elephants. Engage the muskermen. Smack into the warriors. Wavering. Excellent. Heavy cavalry, man. Heavy cavalry. Do 
team in charge the bowman. I mean, let's see, they've got good arm try. Native American warriors are bad units, but they have low defense. And white cavalry just don't. Even though they were only bowmen. Okay, let's bring my elephants back. Attack the garrison bowmen. Okay, let's begin to advance. My right flank. Medicine men are running in. Okay, let's make them work at it. Bring more firepower to bear. See it. This is the garrison coming in now. Bring my swordsman over here to back up my elephants. being shot down by my line. Some of them are trying to stealth their way out of it, but I don't think they're going to make it. Reload, men. Oh, Devastating last second volley. Front ranks reloading. my swordsmen in so my elephants are going in and my other elephants are going to commit and against this bow unit Bowman, Bowman, yeah, a lot of Bowman. Not just any Bowman, garrison bows. Keep killing. my whole line is going to come up and go hello well, one of you is going to keep pursuing that garrison unit you're not having you all run away cause problems in the rear there's everybody against the native american lancer unit which i believe is their general
many, many, many casualties for you. You're on have been absolutely slaughtered. Just gun down as they advance towards our lines, then mow down by my cavalry everywhere else. There you go, kill the other enemy, enemy general. Yes! Could try, tr try do some mopping up, I just don't think it's necessary. I mean, you lost a few guys. Get over here. Hacking apart these medicine men. Get on into those medicine men. Yeah, they didn't they don't like this. Burn my burn my guys around as well. They got shattered though. Excellent. Damn right it was a heroic victory. They could not withstand us. They were slaughtered in the thousands. Yeah, they were. 4,700. Holy moly. To the victor nearly comes the spoils. No, no one else can get there in time. Yes, sir. Good. Like I said, you guys, you're just going to stay near Moose Factory and hold them off. Don't try and fight them. You're not going to push up yet. So let's sit and turn. <laughs> but we're going to protect her at 160 grand. No. That's the only move they can do. I'm effectively counting that last battle as the last battle of the Huron. Um, now it's going to be mopping up the Plains Nations peoples. And then that is the Mysorean campaign completed. You can go and strike as much as you like, matey boys. They didn't try and they didn't move in to try and defend. Yeah, effectively, we fought that battle last. That was their last stand. You men consolidate on their territory. Don't have to worry about doing any of that. You can run around their trapping unit. Oh my god, you can. Normally you intercept. Sir. Actually, let's move you around to do, do what do, I just want to avoid this guy. Yeah, let's take out their garrison at Yankton. So I'm pretty sure. Yep, that's all we've got left. Take him out. Let's. Yep, let's just go for it. And we've ended up with not as much, nowhere near as much money as you normally get um, elsewhere. With other factions, probably because my armies are so big. My armies are so big, and I've got so many territories that are madrasas rather than um, smiths or weavers or any other kind of high tech industry. Artillery just bombard from a safe axis. Some of our most elite infantry in this formation. army that we've had for a while I would wager excellent and same again well we are going to advance but yeah we want to keep our melee infantry as a protective shield everybody else form up push
Where are you hiding? Hello, Warrior Society. Hello, Tribal Gunners and Warrior Society. Only 30 Tribal Gunners, though. On the signal, one pace forward. Go for the Tribal Gunners. Warrior Society and Mobile, as, as is that Warrior Society unit. Commit to the charge. Back them up. Push up. Nope. Just charge the Warrior Society. Don't get involved in anything fancy. Musketeers advance, Hindu warriors advance. Good God, hello, bring the lances back. Gurkhas, Gurkhas, native lances, smash them. More troops heading towards the rear. Okay, lots of musketry. We need to assume they are, the bulk of their forces are hidden at the back. Pushing forward. Hello. You men recover. Girk is advance on the left. Seed warriors commit. Storm the elephants through. Seed, war seed warriors want to have a go. They will make it so. Hindu musketeers surround and charge the enemy. You men form against those guys that are pushing in. One of you charge the bowmen, native lances go in, Gurkhas go in. Medicine men are surrounded here. Only 90 of them left. Slaughter them. Push forward into the leftovers. Dirk has stolen the Warrior Society. There are, there are other units. There was one other unit hidden here at least. Smash the warrior side. He sent the Sikh musketeers in. Hindu musketeers against the bowmen with dervishes in support. These brave souls. How about you? So many men, so quick, and lose a bunch of seat musketeers to stampeding elephants. Look at these guys. Yes. The dam is broken. My sword is victorious. For once and for all. Excellent. Very, very nice. So that is the destruction of the entire world.
Excellent. Excellent. Well, there we go. That's the Mysore campaign, and it went pretty darn well. Uh, winning in India was a bit dodgy, um, but then we gradually pushed through the Middle East, swarmed across Europe, west to east, and then we also landed in America and just blitzed them in a few turns because our war machine was so incredibly powerful. But there we go. Only Mysore lives. Tell the tale. It is 1738. We are earning 410,000 turn, but we are consuming 336,000 um, in upkeep, I expect. Yeah, if I was a bit smarter and bumped my ministers around, like this guy. Plus one management, plus one management, plus one justice, plus one management. He's really good for justice. Uh, but yeah, after a certain point, this sort of stuff kind of fixes itself. You end up going, you know, swap him. For him, you know, do a bit of boobity bobbity boo Fundamentally, yeah. Whole bunch of money. And the campaign is over. Um, but thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, at the same time this video comes out, a faction vote video will come out. So, yeah, get voting. I want to see who, go who you guys pick. So thanks very much, you guys. Hope you enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the next Total War campaign. Cheers, everyone.